Welcome to Winging It. We're doing deck upgrades today in Arkham Horror the Card Game. This is Winnie and Jacqueline in Return to the Forgotten Age going into Heart of the Elders A and B. Of course, they will be using the same decks for both of those uh, scenarios. We have 7 XP to spend. Uh, so for Winnie, uh, her first 3 XP is just going to clearly be to upgrade her Lucky Cigarette Case so I can have both of them be upgraded. Um, so like last time, this is just taking um, the Succeed by 2 to draw a card to Succeed by 1 or more and you can draw, you can look through that many cards and draw one. Really, really strong. Let's her get her one ofs online um, and get them fast. Uh, speaking of one ofs, we're going to go ahead and replace one of our intel reports with a heavy hitter cluing uh, event, which is uh, Pilfer, which lets you use her agility instead of intellect and get two clues. Uh, and then, of course, she succeeds by two or more, she gets the card back into her hand. That's what the upgrade does. Um, at four cost, it's really pricey, but uh, Chuck can make it uh, more able to succeed by giving her the boost and reduce the cost by two, making it a much more viable option for her. Uh, finally, we're going to go ahead and uh, replace the uh, well-connected with our one XP remaining, we have the Moon, which is a tarot card. Uh, so if it's in your opening hand, you get to put it into play. It just gives her a straight up agility boost. This is just letting her lean more into her agility. With Backstab and Pilfer having that extra Extra agility is really, really strong. Um, I wanted to replace, you know, a booster with a booster. Um, it's a static boost instead of the well-connected boost. But I do think once, you know, I'm using Backstab and Pilfer, they're going to eat up more resources. So well-connected becomes less valuable and the static boost becomes more valuable since I'm leaning harder into agility. So that's where we're at. Let's go take a look at Jacqueline. And now for Jacqueline, also has 7 XP to spend, but of course she gets her 2 XP from Arcane Research to upgrade a spell. So um, we're going to go ahead and upgrade her Shriveling, uh, which just to the upgraded level, this again is just gives her the boost, the willpower boost, so she can smash the tests with a Shriveling. This gives her two upgraded shrivelings, so that's really strong. Um, and that only costs her one XP because of the arcane research, the double arcane research. Now, um, I had mentioned in the last video that uh, we have a lot of allies now because we got the two arcane initiates. Um, obviously, it'd be nice to have arcane initiates, either two of them in play or one plus all of them in play. So we'll spend three on the uh, good old reliable charisma that lets us have the other ally slot. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. Okay, so that's four XP total we spent, uh, the one on the shriveling and then the three on the charisma. Um, I'm going to replace both of my dark prophecies. Um, it's an okay card, and of course you can reveal a lot of tokens with Jacqueline. I just haven't found myself really using it. Of course, I know I pulled off a really big play with it in um, Threads of Fate, so I shouldn't dunk on it too hard. But it just, uh, I feel like... Um, it's not really necessary at this point for what I'm I'm wanting to do. So um, we will, in continuing with the static boost motif here, we're going to take the tarot card, the Four of Cups, which just gives her a uh, static willpower boost, just like when he got the agility boost. So we will throw this in there with our assets. And right, for the last two XP, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, pick up a recharge. Um, this is the level two version, so that if you pull a spooky token when you do it, you have to discard the asset. But of course, um, with her token, manipulation ability she should be able to avoid doing that um, just really good for uh, keeping her uh, her spells going the once she's upgraded you know we have an upgraded shriveling out there or an upgraded by seeking um, it would be nice to put some more charges get some more uses out of it so we'll just go ahead and throw the recharge in there of course we can use arcane research to um, upgrade that again into the level four version for free um, which is of course a little bit nicer so that's where we are with uh, Jacqueline let's go play return to heart of the elders